Today we have ordering of fractions. You're all welcome to my channel. Now, the ordering of fractions we have for today is going to be in ascending order. We are ordering from the smallest to the biggest. Just like when you're climbing a staircase, climbing from the down and going upwards, right? So that's how we're going to do in the ordering of fractions today. We are doing an ascending order from the smallest you're climbing towards the biggest. So now let's use the easiest way to get this method done. Now, look at number one is two over five, seven over 10 and three over 15. How are we going to know the smallest fraction from this? So we are going to use what? The LCM method for us to be able to get a common denominator for them because you can see that they have different denominators. We have five, 10 and 15, right? So now let's do it. We have our solution here. Okay, let me solve here. We have solution. This is our two. What is, we'll use our LCM method to first of all get there. We have five, 10 and 15. So what are we going to use to divide five, 10 and 15? Firstly, we are going to use two, the smallest number. We're going to use two because there is 10 here. So I'm going to use two this way. Two going into five will give me what? Two going into five is, it cannot go, so I'm bringing it down. Two going into 10 is five. And here is also 15 because it cannot divide, right? So now we go to the next number. Which other one are we going to use? Now we are using primes. If you look at it, we are using two here. The smallest prime after two is going to be three. So I'm going to use three. Three going into 15 is how many? Is what? Five. So we are using five and three to divide. Bring out all this one because they are prime. Three cannot divide five. That's a remainder. And three going into 15 here is five. So what can divide again? We use five. Five going here is one, one, and one. So we'll have to multiply this. So we're going to have two times three times five, which will give us two times three is what? Six. Six times five is 30. So the common denominator there is going to be 30. So now if we have our 30 as a common denominator, If we have 30 as our common denominator, so we are going to have it this way, 30 here. So we're going to have five going into 30 is what? Five going into 30, how many times will five go into 30? Six times. So we are going to have two times six as this fraction here. So let's go to the second one, we'll have 10. 10 going into 30 is three times. 3 times 7, that's what we're going to have. So we'll have the 7 times 3, comma. The, the other one is 3 over 15. 3 over 15. 15 going into 30 is... Yes, the next fraction is 3 over 15. So 15 going into 30 will give us 2. So we're going to have 3 times 2 here. Do you understand? So this is equals to 2 times 6 is 12. We're going to have 12 comma. 7 times 3 is 21. Sorry, 21. And 3 times 2 is 6. All over what? 30. So now let's compare it to the fractions that gave us this. We'll have 2 over 5. The smallest here is 6, right? And 6 is 3 over 15. So we're going to have 3 over 15 comma. And followed by 12, which is 2 over 5. 2 over 5, and lastly, 7 over 10. So this is our final answer. If we are to order our fractions from the smallest to the biggest, we are going to have this, 3 over 15, 2 over 5, and 7 over 10. Hope you enjoyed it. Now let's do number 2, which is 2 over 3, 4 over 5, 3 over 10. We are still going to use the same route to do it. So here, we are going to first use the LCM method to find the LCM 
for those three fractions. So we have three, five, and ten. But remember, we are going to use the smallest prime to start dividing. What's the smallest prime that can divide two? Why? Because we have ten here. Two will go. Two will bring down three, five, three, and five. They're also primes, right? Then ten, two going into ten is five. So what are we going to use here? We use three. Three here is one. Bring down five, five. Then five, one, 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 right? So now we have to multiply them out. Two times three is six. Six times five is 30. 30 here. So we're going to still use same 30 as their common denominator. 30 there. Five going, sorry. Three going into 30 is three. Three times two is what? Six. So we're going to have two times three here. Three goes, sorry, two times 10. Because 3 going into 30 is 10, comma. Go to the next one. 5 going into 30 is 6. And we have 4 there. So we have 4 times 6 here, comma. Then 10 going into 30, 30 here is 3. So we're going to have 3 times 3 as the last one there, right? So let's multiply it out. 2 times 10 here is what? 20. 4 times 6 is 24, and 3 times 3 is 9, all over 30. So let's look at it. Which one is the smallest? Let's compare it with the fraction we had here already. 3 over 10 is the smallest because it has 9. So we're going to have equals to 3 over 10, comma. then 20, we have 2 over 3, and finally 4 over 5. So ordering this fraction from smallest to the biggest in ascending order, we are going to have 3 over 10, 2 over 3, and 4 over 5. Hope you enjoyed the class. I'm not going to leave you empty-handed. I want you to do number 3, which is 4 over 9, 2 third, and 5 over 18. Hope you actually enjoyed the class. Please do well to follow us for more videos like this. Bye-bye.